Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Ultimate Network Security Lab Project. This is episode seven, and unfortunately, this is the last episode in this series. Now, it has been a lot of fun building all these tools and playing around with network stuff and firewalls and servers, and it's been good. And if you just landed here and you want to follow on with this project, then as I always say, I suggest you go back to episode one. Episode one is where we talk about the entire design. We build an enterprise grade network architecture with a number of different services. Then in episode two, we actually get started with the build. So that's where we build our one edge. So our routers, our ISPs, get all that sorted get the writing sorted then in episode three we start our firewall that is where we build our firewall cluster after the firewall cluster in episode four we get started in building the core switches on the access layer switches that really builds the whole foundation of the entire network after that we've got the infrastructure so we have already built a windows domain controller we've built several versions of Kali Linux. Last week we built Zabbix which is our monitoring tool and today which is the last episode as I said we are going to build Wazoo. Wazoo is our Seam and XDR tool. We built it in the last cybersecurity lab project. It was fun and um, but a lot has changed since that so if you're keen to get Wazoo installed in your lab this is the video for you. So if you've seen the previous episode where we built Zabax, you'll have seen that we did a little bit different. We've actually built Zabax outside of EVNG, we built it on our Proxmox server. I'm gonna do the exact same with Wazoo. Because again, the whole reason behind that was I might use these two services for my own home network. So it kind of makes sense to kind of build them on a different different machine on outside of the EVNG environment. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to follow that process. So let's take a look at the Wazoo documentation. So I'm up here and I'm going to build it on this version 4.12. This is the current version. That's the latest one they have. Looking at the requirements here, I have already checked um, in terms of spec what I want to build. This one, the 125 agents is perfect. 4V CPU, 8 gig RAM, 50 gig storage, that's perfect, we've got all that. In terms of the OS, I'm gonna build this on Ubuntu 24.4. That's the same version of Linux that we used for Zalix, which is perfect. And to install Wazoo, it is actually so simple to install this. You literally just have to run this single command on that server. Now, the good news for you is you don't have to sit through me building another Ubuntu server. I've already done that. I have got everything up and going. As you can see here, I've logged into the server. I have done all of the updates. I am in a good spot now that all I have to do is paste that command in. Now, if you want to see this entire process, you want to see how to build Ubuntu. In the last episode, we built Ubuntu before we actually got started with the Zabbix install. Just check that out. And instead of installing Zabbix, you just follow this one and install Wazoo. Okay, right, let's do this. Let's go. We'll get Wazoo installed. And then what I'll do is once we get logged in, we'll have a play around, see what it looks like. I think it's different from what it used to be. Then we'll get it installed on maybe like a couple of our servers. I'm probably going to get it installed on um, the domain controller for definite and also maybe one of the Kali Linux machines. So let's do that. So let's just copy this. And um, there's a copy button at the end. Copy that over. I'm going to go into the terminal. I'm just going to paste that in. It put in my password. And uh, that should download the installer with the install script. Okay, so install has done. And that took about how long? That took about five minutes. That was so fast to do that. Okay, let's grab these credentials. I'll copy those. I am just going to put those into a notepad and then we save them. Let's just grab the IP. So it's 1096.12.117. Let's go to that 10.96.12.117. Oh, here we go. Let's log in. Let's see what we can do. Okay, login is admin and then the password. And that is it. It's kind of, it's, it's nearly even crazy making a video to show that one command. But Wazoo is installed. That, that's so simple. I love how easy it is to get this platform up and going. And also the UI is a bit different to what it used to be as well. Oh, nice. It's got some cloud stuff. Okay, I'm glad I built this now on my Proxmox so I can get this properly set up for my home environment. Right, okay, let's get this installed on a couple of machines. I'll show you how to get the agent downloaded, get it added to a Windows and a Linux machine. That way you should be covered. 
so before I do anything, the first thing I want to do here is I want to create a brand new user account for me here because the admin password is crazy. So let's go up here and I'm going to go down into index or management and under security, let's click in there and then just go into internal users. From here, I'm going to click on create new internal user. I'm going to give myself a name. I'm going to put in a password that I know. In terms of backend roles, I am going to type in admin and then I can click on create. Okay, let's just log out. I'm going to log back in again and see if that works. You will understand why I'm doing this in a second. Aha, okay, perfect. Right, let's go back now. So if we go back to this topology, this is what we have been building all along throughout this entire project. So I'm going to install the agent on these two servers, the Windows server and also the Linux server. This is a Kali Linux machine. This is a Windows machine. So two good examples that we can use. So I've already opened them up and here they should be open. I'll do the Windows one first. Because whenever you connect to Avengy machines, you're using VNC, it won't allow me to paste that password into the login screen. So I can't copy it from my host machine to the EVNG. That's why I created the new user account. So let's log into Wazoo 10.96.12.117, was it? Okay, let's put in our username and our password. Log in. Okay, right, we are finally in. That took a little while to get logged in, but let's get this agent installed on this Windows machine. Again, Windows is pretty simple. All you have to do is click on deploy new agent. Then when you get to this page, so you wanna select your OS. For us, we wanna select this Windows. This is the MSI 32-bit or 64-bit. So the server address, this is the address that you wanna send logs to. So this is gonna be your Wazoo server. So it's gonna be 10.96.12.117. So that is my Wazoo server. I'm going to go down. There's other stuff that I want. I'm going to call this DC. This is the host name. Um, so that's what it's going to show up as in Wazoo. Now you can add it to some groups. If you have set up some groups for your machines, if you want to group like by OS or by location or by site or whatever, this is where you would do that. The last thing you need to do is really is open up a PowerShell command and we're going to add that command so let's do that i'm gonna run parsha i'm gonna right click and run this as administrator i'll go back here and I'll copy this command go back here i'm gonna paste that in hit enter and that should go off and get the agent installed okay that was done that was pretty quick so all we have to do then is run this command this is going to start the wazoo agent so paste that in hit enter and let's get that started Okay, so the agent is started. Maybe if we go back here, let's see what is here. Let's click on home. Okay, so you can see here, there is one that says agent summary and it's saying it's disconnected. Let's take a look and see what happens. Oh, it's active already. Now it looks a bit different. It looks a bit off. That's because of this is this small screen. But before we start playing around with this, let's close out of this one because I want to go to the Linux machine and I want to get that one added as well. So installing Wazoo on Linux is pretty much the same process. So back here in the Wazoo GUI, I'm going to just go up here to the right top. I'm going to go down to the agent management. Let's click on summary. So we can see here that we have our Windows server. So whenever you want to add a new agent, just click on the deploy agent. Since we're going to be installing this on Windows, specifically Ubuntu, I'm going to select this Debian MD64. Again, the same process, put in the IP address of the server you want to send the logs to. I'm going to go down and give it a name. So this is going to be Kali. Then you're going to get these set of commands at the end. So all you need to do is copy this and paste, hit enter, and that's going to go off and pull down the agent for the server. Okay, happy days, that is done. Now, the next thing we need to do, let's go back to the Wazoo GUI. And as you can see, we need to start all of these different services. So we have the daemon reload. Let's pull this over here so I can get some of these commands. So sudo systemctl. So that's the first one. 
ctl enable wazoo In the last one, we are going to start the agent. Okay, let's see if this actually works. Okay, let's go back over here and go back up to the very top. I'm going to go to the homepage and see. Yes, we have two active happy days. Okay, cool. So you can see this is our first one we did the Windows Server, and this is the second one, the Kali Linux. You can see how easy it is to deploy agents. This tool has completely changed, I think, since I last used it. I can't believe how much extra stuff is in here. There's so much going on. Let's go into the summary and let's have a quick look of what we can actually do. So this is the Windows machine. I installed this a little while ago, probably about 20 minutes ago. So I want to see exactly what it has. So let's find all of these vulnerabilities. That's class. So configuration assessment, what is in there? Oh, let's see, yes, benchmarks, nice. Okay, well you get the gist. It is a really, really good tool. And as you can see, it is pretty simple to install Wazoo. Literally all you need is a Ubuntu server. You run that one command, it flies through the install. Then installing all of the agent stuff is so incredibly simple. I am excited to see some of the other things that this, this thing can do. I can see it's got GitHub here, it's got Office 365. I would love to get it connected to some of these cloud accounts and see sort of what alerting and logs and stuff that I can see. So there you have it. That is the last service that we were going to build as part of the Ultimate Network Security Lab project. That's a mouthful. This has been really fun. We built a whole pile of stuff. As I've been saying through, the whole way throughout this entire uh, series is this is really good enterprise grade network. So there's no reason why that you need to kind of stop now when this is done. You can add so many more services. You can integrate Docker. You can do loads of stuff with this network environment. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this series and you enjoy these types of videos then hit subscribe it really really helps the channel out and i will see you next time